since 2002. We have created excellence, excellence together. Passion is real. Connection, connection is real. The ROH experience, experience is real. Welcome to Ring of Honor Wrestling. Honor is real. Big tag team match about to get started here. Loki teaming up with Steve Carino against Masato Tanaka and Shinjiro Otani. And this one is a special Zero One attraction. It's given to Ring of Honor by Zero One and Mr. Nakamura. Thank you very much. Thank what you. A, what an honor and privilege it is to have these kind of athletes in the ring here. Masato Tanaka and Otani. Wow, that's all I can say. I'm looking forward to this one myself. Steve Carino and Loki, not a usual tag team in Ring of Honor. In fact, very different personalities in Ring of Honor. But Zero One put this match together, and these are all Zero One talents. So that's why they're teaming up. But I think that uh, Homicide has a, took it a little bit of exception to Loki teaming with Steve Carino, and that's an issue to keep an eye on. Yeah, we will have to watch out for that. Although both teams would have been very good, although uh, Tanaka and Otani have teamed up many, many times in Japan, so they're going to have that advantage. Well, Loki and Carino actually just toured up on the last tour of Zero One, so so they are getting familiar with each other. Fans just absolutely thrilled to see these two, especially Otani, never appearing before here. And it's been a long time for Tanaka to even be in the United States. Very long time, and of course the fans loved him from the old days here. And there you have Loki jockeying for position with Tanaka. And this just caps off the all-star extravaganza. And why is it called all-star extravaganza? What an all-star roster talent you saw tonight. Capped off right now by Tanaka, Tani, Loki, and Carino. Tanaka puts on the brakes, scoops him up and plants him with a powerbomb. And Loki's out of there. And just look, you had you had the best from the Midwest with CM Punk. You had the best from the West Coast with Daniel, Samoa Joe, American Dragon, Donovan Morgan. Of course, you had the best from the East Coast here. The best from the South with AJ Styles. The best from the United Kingdom and Doug Williams. Guys from every Japan company. Absolutely just phenomenal roster. It's an all-star extravaganza. And it's being topped off right now by this special 0-1 attraction. Full Nelson by Loki. And now Tanaka counters. Grinding this hole down as Loki tries to break it. And Loki comes right back with a back suplex on Masato Tanaka. Drops him down. And I was just handed a note signed for December 28th. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, South Philly, Murphy Rec Center. It's going to be an international dream match. First time ever, Red, the amazing Red against Jody Fleisch. Really? Get your tickets now, and, and Conan's going to be there. Conan's going to be there? Yeah, but what he doesn't, he's not going to be doing his WCW trademarks or anything. He's coming as a, as a serious wrestler to bring Lucha Libre back the way that he loves it. That's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, well, that's really how Conan made his name as just his top Lucha Libre style artist. It's good to see him getting back to that. Well, let's see if he still has it. And don't forget, Ring of Honor, January 11th, going to West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. All the info on that, ROHwrestling.com. And for info on that, too, and also a selection of over 5,000 videotapes from every promotion featuring just about every wrestler, call 215-891-9404 or go to rfvideo.com. And now Otani in there with Loki. Scoops him up and plants him upside down in the tree of woe. Otani very happy with himself. He's got such a vicious streak in that ring. And we see it right there. Oof. These guys are bringing the pure zero one style here. And Steve Carino particularly was looking forward to this match as, as he's looking forward to showcasing that style in his hometown of Philadelphia. As usually the Philly fans are used to seeing him in hardcore matches bleeding all over the place. But now he's finally going to get to show his new Zero One style at its best right here in Philadelphia. And that's what's really elevated Steve Carino to international superstardom. It's really a style that he's comfortable with and something he's really excelled at. And now Otani grinding this in here as he's laying on the back of Loki. And look, Loki's biting him. Loki biting the finger of Otani. Ouch. And Carino comes in and helps his partner out there. Carino putting the boots to Otani. Loki wasn't expecting to get bitten in this match. Uh, and, and, and look at this. 
Otani in, in, in the Ring of Honor ring. I mean, what an honor this is. It's just great to have him come over here. And Carino tries to get him out of the corner, but we see Otani just really has his own style. Very aggressive. Started out as a junior heavyweight. In fact, he was the first WCW Cruiserweight champion. But now he wrestles a lot more with the heavyweights, and he has really established himself as a top star. Well, when you talk about hard hitting action, you have Otani and Tanaka, and look at those chops right there, and that boot right to the face of Carino. That's what he loves to do. Otani can just beat you and attack you with just about everything he's got at his disposal. And now a tag to Masato Tanaka. You know what's great? Even though this match was given to us by Zero One, these men all respected the code of honor and shook hands before the match. And what's this? Oh! Double boot to the face and Carino's head just jarred back on that impact. Ouch! There was nowhere that Carino could go and he saw it coming too. And look at the fans. They're just so into seeing these guys here. Masato Tanaka and Steve Carino, a couple of former ECW champions as we get an Irish whip. Ooh. And Mata Ma Tanaka comes in with a big forearm. Pounding down. You know, say what you want about Steve Carino, love him or hate him, and most people hate him. And you know, there's good reason to, especially after what happened uh, in the Backseat Boys match when he teamed up with Homicide, when he turned on Homicide for really no apparent reason besides he got a little angry because Homicide forearmed him by accident, costing Homicide the match in Ring of Honor's own ring as some outsiders came in and beat him. But say what you want about Steve Carino, he is excelling at the style, and he has just improved so much. And he was great in ECW, but he is a completely different wrestler now, and he has just taken this style and he has really perfected that. Big boot by Loki right there. And Loki and Carino making a very good team. You mentioned they have some experience over in Zero One in Japan teaming up together. And Loki coming out now wearing a Zero One tights as this is being taped right now for Samurai TV. And a two count there. And now into a triangle hold. Loki controlling Masato Tanaka. And what a big win this would be if Loki and Steve Carino, a couple of Americans, could beat the Japanese team here in America and have that be shown in Japan on their TV. And that's what will happen, because this is being taped right now for Samurai TV. Loki also coming out with a title belt he possesses in Zero One as well. So we got a real good international flavor going on in this one. Tanaka takes Loki into the corner, right into the boot of Otani. And Otani checks back in. Putting the boots to Loki. Just a vicious competitor is Shinjiro Otani. Double chin lock and wrapping the legs around the body as well. Nowhere that Loki could go right now. Otani can really do it all in there. Without a doubt, and the fans, they obviously waited a long time to see him, and he's got Loki totally wrapped up right now. Loki, of course, in the second match of the night, and that's going to have some kind of effect on him, too, as he was in that dazzling six-man, just awesome match before, and now he's in another one right here. Great effort by Loki tonight in these two top main event-type matches against really the best 11. Look who Loki wrestled tonight. Samoa Joe, Donovan Morgan, Chris Daniels, now Otani and Tanaka. He's been in the ring with five of the best tonight. That's like a full month for some people, but he's doing it all in one night against this incredible array of talent. And that's why it's the all-star extravaganza. And Loki firing back. He's not taking that in his own house, the Murphy Rec Center. The Murphy Rex on this very building you put on that legendary series of matches. Amazing Red, American Dragon, that three-way with Dragon and Daniels, and that one-hour Iron Man match at Crowning a Champion. And now this, this is low-key's building without a doubt. And that AJ Styles match on a night of appreciation, too. All match of the year candidates, all taking place right here in the Murphy Recreation Center. And now Steve Carino in there working on Otani. Big running elbow. And you got to think, those Loki matches are a big part of what Tommy Dreamer was talking about when he said that he senses something special is going on here at the Murphy Rec Center. And Carino with the cross arm breaker, but Otani shifting his weight to alleviate the pressure and now trying to get the leg out of there. That's right, the amount of different styles, and it's just really a joy to see this. And look at that. Otani now taking a page out of Loki's book and biting that thumb of Carino to get out of the hold. Same thing Loki did earlier. And Carino now begging for mercy. Otani lets go and see Otani. Hold on, listen to that crowd. They're coming up. They know what's going to happen next. They've been watching their tapes. Listen to that crowd. They want to see it. And there it is. Ooh. The boot 
scrapes. The food scrapes. Oh, and there's the big one. The big running boot scrape. And you think The Rock just hit the people's elbow or something the way this crowd is reacting. Well, you know what this is? The Ring of Honor version of the people's elbow. And how about Otani looking around and seeing all these Americans going bonkers for one of his signature moves? What a satisfying thing that must be for him. And a huge boot to the face. Otani, it's like it's his second home here. Oh, he missed that time, and Carino lowered the boom on it. They say a second home. I wouldn't mind seeing him here more often. And you know what? Zero One and Ring of Honor are in talks, in addition to PWF, which promotes in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. And I got a feeling you're going to see more Zero One influence on Ring of Honor shows. That would be great to see. As Steve I hope Carino so. <laughs> working now on Otani and getting him back into the Loki corner. And we get a tag. Carino and Loki starting to work very well together. Yep, they're hitting some stuff on Otani now. Otani probably needing that tag to Tanaka. And now, Irish whip. Otani goes in hard and sends him out to the apron. Loki softening him up. That tarantula dragon clutch right there. The hanging dragon version of that move. Thanks for correcting me there. Oh, that's good. And uh, Otani's down. And Paul Turner right there, making sure they break the ropes. This could be the biggest match Paul Turner's ever refereed as well. It's got to be. Hooking up Potsman for the Key Crusher 99. Can he get him up? No. And Takes him down, though. He'll drop toe hold and try something different, looking for the dragon clutch on the mat. And he's got a Tanaka's coming in, though. And Tanaka really was able to get a good shot in there. Loki, I don't think, saw it coming. Well, what's that say about the respect these guys have for the Dragon Clutch? And as soon as uh, Loki got him in it, like, uh, Tanaka was right in there. And Otani wasn't even really in trouble yet. Off the second rope. Otani oh. caught him with a spinning kick. And here comes Tanaka. Yeah, Loki has made a very big impression over in Japan in a very short amount of time. Well, he's that good. Oh, Tanaka coming in, and he got met with a combo kick by Loki. Combo kick. kick, how do you know that, Jeff? They're gonna love you on the internet. Oh, good. We all wanna be loved on the internet. <laughs> Irish whip. Here comes a title crush by Loki. And he nailed it right in the job, Masato Tanaka, one of the toughest guys here. They know him well in Philadelphia, and they respect the hell out of him, and Loki with the cover. But no, Masato Tanaka able to kick out. Tanaka has been in so many devastating tough matches here in America and over in Japan. He's been hit with everything but the kitchen sink and come back for more. <laughs> Big Good counter there by Tanaka. Loki was coming in. And Tanaka's got Karina and he's got Loki. That stunner DDT combination. Wiping out both opponents. He's known for it. And the fans getting behind Tanaka, as they did many times when he was in ECW. Oh, catches him with the stunner on the way down there. And the fans are just eating it up here as Tanaka making his way up to the top. Look at him fly. Frog splash by Tanaka. They might have him. No, very close to a three count. Loki managing to kick out. I don't know how, especially taking into consideration what he went through in that six-man RH title match earlier tonight. And Tanaka sends Loki across, and he missed that time. Loki nailed him. Uh, it could be Kawada kick time. Oh. oh, the last one, all those ones to the chest, and then that last one to the forehead. Tanaka is down, and let's see, maybe Loki tags in Steve Carino. And we'll see what Carino can do as he sends Tanaka across and catches him with a jumping side kick. And look at Carino. This might be 0-1 style, but he still hates these fans, and he's showing it right there. I still don't see why Carino is so against these fans. Well, because he feels that all they want to do is see him bleed, and they treat him like a freak. He doesn't appreciate the respect that they show him here in Ring of Honor, and that's just how he feels. And whoops, there we go with Otani. Jumping side game. Carino getting a ton of respect over in Japan. He wants that respect here, too. And now what's Otani got in mind? Tornado DDT, and he hit it good, but there's Tanaka. And Carino would have been better to stay down. Oh, number two. That'll drop anyone's IQ. And 
Perino is staggered. Caught him. Exploder suplex by Carino. Nicely done. Amazing that Carino had the presence of mind after taking those two Tornado DDTs. Uh, Carino is one of those guys with ring presence. He always knows where he is in that ring as now he's in that combination of vertical suplexes. And third one, more of a brain buster variety. No, only a two count. Now you see Loki and Tanaka fighting on the floor. Really back and forth. An old school expulsion, maybe. There it is. There it is. That could be it. No, Tanaka saw it coming and he made the save. And Loki comes in and stomps Tanaka. What a back and forth battle this has been between these four Ring of Honor and Zero One Stars. And there you see the Samurai TV cameraman catching all the action. In the ring, it's Carino with a Fisherman Buster. And Tanaka whipped in the guardrail. Carino with the cover. Only two. Paul Turner right on top of the action. And Carino calling Loki back into the ring. See what he has in mind. Hold him open. No. Oh, no. Otani managed to move. And oh. a huge hilarious by Tanaka. There's that springboard missile drop kick by Otani. And now Otani's taking him up. Hooks him up. Spiral bomb. Three. 